Hi there. I'm Chris from Air Windows, and you're hearing some of my uh, computer madness cranking away. I actually can't hear it at this time. Uh, I'm not patched through for it. But uh, it's super late at night, and it's going to be a really rough day for me because I don't always have uh, control over my inspirations. And in this case, I have debugged not so much the plugins, but the firmware for Chord Organ that I was talking about. And what you're hearing is it doing its goofy thing and making up patterns and melodies and things on the fly driven by some uh, Turing machines. So that was far too many hours today. And I'll make it shut up in a moment. Again, I can't actually hear what it's doing right now. But that's a, a set of chord organs, including the bass. And they are all set up to play some music. And I don't think I'm going to be actually joining them. Because I'm still really burnt from all this. And I need to cut down to plugins, of which this is one. So this is the uh, secret project I was telling you about. And it is ready enough to go live. I asked for permission that, uh, to go ahead with it at this time. This is a plugin called Seriously because it is a um, sort of hack on the old Hughes SRS stereo processor. That's right, Howard Hughes, like Spruce Goose Hughes. He made audio, he made uh, gear, just the one. And it's a strange little device and um, a musician that I'm super into, uh, a fellow called Chad Clark from Beauty Pill, has one, but it's slightly broken. He was putting out a call saying, please give me one of these in plug-in form, I beg of you, because I uh, love what it does and mine isn't perfectly working. And in the middle of all the stuff that I do, for instance, I was just showing you that craziness, this is a chart for what would happen if you turned the uh, digits of a digital clock into gates. So you could do a thing where, if this is roughly one hour, you can set up a thing where you've got uh, your music going and then there's a little hiatus, something drops out and then comes back in. And you can arrange stuff around that and I have not yet begun that project because I'm trying so many other projects, including fixing the chord organ thing. Presumably that is working. I'm not sure if that's really true. We'll have to see whether that sounds like sensible uh, music or unsensible in an amusing way. But what you see here is Seriously. Seriously is not a Hughes SRS clone. Uh, Chad got to listen to it, was like, it's not really, it's not ready, it's not exactly it, and uh, there's nothing much I can do about that. He seems, he seems to like what it does, but um, I don't have an SRS it's offered to send me, but the thing is, even if I had the physical one, it's not really my thing 
to be cloning pieces of hardware and then selling them or giving them away. And I'm more interested in trying to isolate aspects of it. So, and, and here I am going on for half an hour talking about all of this, but it's because I'm so tired. I'm still really tired. It's going to be just like plugins and uh, Q&A on Monday for a while. But um, I don't know if I'm ever going to be able to model the physical SRS the way he'd like to see happen and in the way he needs because he needs to use this thing which is a secret weapon and his is broken and has a buzz and, and you can't use it. So I failed. I failed with this. But what it does is some peculiar things that you probably should just try and not trust me or my audio or my music or any of that stuff. But I will take a moment and show you a little bit of it. Here is rowdy, noisy rock and roll music. So what you get is center and space. Center sounds like this. So when you do center, what center does is it accentuates certain frequencies of the sort where your ears naturally produce that effect if you're listening to something straight in front of you. So if you have a like uh, recording of some kind and it's not locking in in a center position well enough, You can do that and it will have the psychoacoustic effect of being more in the center. Or widening. So it can get pretty exaggerated. And another thing that we have available is this Q control, which Chad didn't actually see because I added it at the last minute, thinking that maybe that was going to be a way that I could get it to behave like the RSRS, but I can't hear one, so I don't know. But what it does is kind of like this. It'll widen down to the bottom here. Let's let it go on to the next, the next bit. And we got our dry wet, so this is normal. And on the left, Q is very wide. On the right, it gets narrower and narrower until it becomes like a really strange sort of effect. So we can do center. We can accentuate the sides. And the idea is we can just sort of flow with this in such a way where we can accentuate stereo effects yeah, so I can't even hear it right now, I'm too tired, but we can accentuate stereo effects by these little boosts, these little narrow boosts that simulate the way your ears hear things. It should probably happen more effectively in speakers, because it's kind of designed to work in speakers, I think. But the effect you get is kind of like this. We can narrow it down. Whereas dry is like this. So we're gonna try to push things out beyond the position of the speakers here. And hopefully that sounds wider than the raw sound. I don't really know. I don't fool with stereo widening things very much. So this isn't where my ear is really tuned for. 
but uh, this is seriously this is like my failed secret project and again dry and wet so with that I'm gonna throw back on the crazy weird music which again I can't actually hear because it's coming in off the mic and I'm not monitoring the mic but uh, you know my hope is that people have some kind of fun with this seriously thing and some of the stuff that I learned from it I think is going to wind up being useful like I've got uh, those little peaks and things dialed in so if I wanted to put together a version of console that uh, the mix bus section of it had a little touch of extra wideness on it I'd be doing this kind of thing on the side channel and just give a little touch of extra air that way and uh, then I would tell people that it was crosstalk no I'm just kidding I wouldn't tell people anything of the sort because I don't believe that's how that works but if here let me make this silly thing quiet again I can't hear what it's doing anyways if seriously is seriously useful to you uh cool <laughs> it's more than I expected I was trying very hard to get it to be a particular thing and I did not succeed and I don't really have much way to tell whether I was succeeding or not so the whole thing is uh <sighs> I did the best I could. So we'll be catching up with some other plugins. I don't know whether I'm going to have Compressaturator 2 ready next week. It depends upon whether it's still broken or not. If I'm not able to fix it, I won't be able to put it out. But I do have like some things like uh, bass boost things to tape and uh, some of the low frequency stuff going on where I can bring the the biquad filters into that and I've got stuff that's hard work but still doable that I could bring in that's l like literally not good like cabs which cabs exists it was an attempt to do speaker cab sounds it was a colossal failure you can still have it I'll make it um, I cannot tell at this stage whether seriously is any good or not so you know please tell me and if it's terrible, then, you know, please tell me that, too. That's fine. Whatever. But um, now I have to go eat because I didn't eat all day because I was too busy working. And then I have to go sleep before the Monday live stream. So I will see you folks later. And I hope seriously works out for you. Bye-bye. Fix this. Bye-bye.